How y'all doing? Thank you. Great. That's, that's our favorite word around here. Great. Thank you all so much for being out here today. Uh, my name is Dan Crandall. I'm the Marketing and Business Development Manager of um, Great Northern Mall. Uh, this is a very exciting day. We're all excited to have you. This is a great way to start 2024. So thank you all for being here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so, uh, we have a lot of fantastic faces out there, a lot of tenants. We appreciate your support. And we'd also like to welcome Mayor Nicole Daly-Jones of North Olmsted. <laughs> Cuyahoga County Executive Chris Ronane. <laughs> Debbie Berry, Chief of Integrated Development. Debbie, thank you. Uh, Max Upton, Economic and Community Development Director. Max. I, uh, I think I outdressed Max. He's a little concerned, but uh, you, did, you did good, though, Max. You did good. So you're, you did good. Uh, North Oaks said Chamber. Thank you guys so much for being out here. Appreciate you guys for uh, attending today. Uh, Bill Garvey. Oh. Yeah. Bill Garvey, President of the Greater Cleveland Film Commission. Is here, maybe. So, uh, again, some of the great northern tenants. I saw Dillard's is here. First Team Actor Studio. They teach acting classes. Uh, many of the local actors have been on the big screen. So, with all that said, no one wants to hear from me anymore. I'd like to welcome uh, Mike Walsh, Senior General Manager of Great Northern Mall. Thank you. Thank you, Dan. Hello and welcome to Great Northern Mall. Thank you for joining us for today's special announcement. My name is Mike Walsh. I am the Senior General Manager here at Great Northern Mall, as well as uh, Belden Village Mall in Canton, Ohio. I recently rejoined the team here, uh, but I'm no stranger to the mall and the local community. I was appointed here uh, as a GM a little over 10 years ago. Uh, life has now come full circle, and I'm thrilled to rejoin the team, especially on the heels of this special development. Um, on that subject, we have uh, some previously, previously announced uh, tenants, uh, Kids Empire, will be opening later this year in a 15,000 square foot children's entertainment center. It has slides, mazes, games, all for the kids. So we'll definitely share more about that special announcement and the grand opening as those come available. Uh, there's some other openings I'd like to mention briefly that will open in the next few months here, a Sabaro's Pizza in the food court, as well as a Rondinelli tuxedo in the uh, Dillard's wing. Finally, we also have another big special announcement that we'll be making in the future weeks, so please tune in for that as well. But today, we are here to formally announce and welcome the new operator of our former theater location. This is a significant milestone for Great Northern, one that ushers in a new era and offers a premium entertainment experience for all. So, without further ado, I would like to welcome the team from Phoenix Theaters. And in Thanks, Mike. I'd like to introduce Corey Jacobson, President, as well as Jordan Homan, VP of Product Development. Welcome and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Mike. Okay, let's see here. I'm Corey Jacobson. I'm the owner of the Michigan based Phoenix Theaters. And I want to welcome everyone this morning uh, to our first announcement of our Phoenix Theaters at Great Northern Mall. This will be our eighth theater and second theater in the state of Ohio, with the first theater opening just last year in Defiance in Western Ohio. This will mark our 69th movie theater screen and eighth building. This summer, we had a chance to meet with Mayor Nicole Daly-Jones and Economic Community Development Director Max Upton, who's out in the crowd, and they were extremely knowledgeable concerning the retail environment and very enthusiastic about our proposed theater project. And overall, they were extremely positive about the impact a new theater would be having to the shopping center, the entertainment options for the community, and just very, very welcoming to us. 
This let us know that North Olmsted was open and friendly to expanding business opportunities, and this refreshing experience with your local government played a significant factor in our team deciding to come here and open a theater. So I would like to thank Max, the mayor, you know, for all of your cooperation and help so far, and it's just been a great experience. And you know what? If anyone wants to know why we decided to move to Ohio, look at this crowd and how wonderful and welcoming everyone has, has been to us up to this point. It's just been fabulous. So, without any further ado, I'd like to uh, I'd like to introduce Mayor Nicole Daly Jones of North Olmsted, and she'll have a few words. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon. This is an important day here in the city of North Olmsted. I would like to acknowledge our elected officials here that are uh, from our city council. Our council president, Lou Brassard. <laughs> Councilman Ward 1, Chris Scarl. Councilman Ward 2, Chris Glassburn. <laughs> Councilwoman Ward 3, Mary Gilchrist. <laughs> Councilwoman Ward 4, this is Ward 4 as well, Mary Ellen Heeman. <laughs> and our council member at large, Mark Madden. And we're also happy to have with us today Cuyahoga County District Councilman Pat Kelly. I want to thank our County Executive Chris Ronane for being here today, as well as United States Congressman Max Miller for the video that you will all uh, see shortly. This afternoon is more than about announcing a new business opening. It's about a community pillar coming back to life. Across the region, a dozen movie theaters have closed since the COVID-19 pandemic. To date, only one has reopened. And in just a few months, Phoenix the theaters will be the second with the reopening of the Great Northern Mall Cinema. Yep. On behalf of the citizens of the city of North Olmsted and our elected city council members, I want to welcome Phoenix Theaters to the Great Northern Mall community. Like many of our residents, I was saddened and concerned last year when I was informed that the movie theater was closing. As mentioned, my staff and I met with the ownership of the mall, including the national leadership of Pacific Retail Capital Partners and our local executives. I applaud them both for their rigorous and relentless efforts in pursuing this opportunity. Movie theaters play an important role in communities. They are a source of cultural enrichment. Theaters expose community members to new ideas, art forms, stories, and creative expressions that they may not otherwise experience. This cultural enrichment makes communities more vibrant, creative, and well-rounded. They foster community and pride. Local movie theaters become landmarks that bring people together and build a shared sense of identity, purpose, and pride in our community. They drive tourism and economic impact. Many theaters attract audience from surrounding areas, bringing new revenue into the local economy through ticket sales, dining, and shopping. This boosts businesses and tax income to support our community services. They serve as gathering spaces. Movies naturally attract and bring people together, providing a venue for community interaction, socializing, and gathering. 
They lend themselves well to hosting other non-performance community events. On February 6th, my administration will be introducing legislation authorizing a grant to Phoenix theaters for the purpose of creating an iconic facade for this new theater, which will solidify the brand of the theater as an integral part of North Olmsted. I am overjoyed that later on this spring, North Olmsted will have its theater back. And now we will see a video uh, that Congressman Max Miller has sent for us today. Hi everyone, Congressman Max Miller here. This is such an exciting celebration and I'm sorry that I can't be with you in person, but I'm glad to have this opportunity to share a brief message with you to celebrate such an important development for the North Olmsted community. I'll admit, I'm a big fan of movie theater popcorn, but this project is about much more than just bringing movie theater popcorn back to the Great Northern Mall. Phoenix Theaters is bringing new life and energy to one of North Olmsted's economic engines. Not only will this new theater offer state-of-the-art movie-going experience with immersive technology, comfortable seats, and delicious snacks, but it will also create jobs and bring life back to one of our treasured assets. The movie theater is a place where we can come together as a community, enjoy quality entertainment, and make lasting memories that strengthen our families and our communities. That's why I'm proud to support Mayor Nicole Daly-Jones, Pacific Retail, and the entire North Olmsted community as we celebrate this project and welcome Phoenix theaters to the Great Northern Mall. I look forward to their grand opening Thank you, and God bless you all. Thank you, Congressman Miller. And now, none other than our county executive, Chris Ronane. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Mayor. And hello, North Olmsted again. Uh, I want to ask a few of you, how many of you are regulars at this great ball here? Myself included. There we go. There's a good survey for you guys. And how many of you, I'm gonna put you on the line now, would rather see a film on the big silver screen? All right, there's your other survey. Uh, congratulations to uh, our mayor, uh, to our council, uh, both city and county council, uh, and to our investors. Thank you uh, for investing in us in Northeast Ohio. I'm Chris Ronan, I'm your Cuyahoga County Executive. And yes, I'm a regular at Great Northern Mall. This is our go-to. <clears throat> I gotta yell down to Jason at Dillard's. This is where I got my suit that I'm wearing today. But anyways, um, yeah, and I think we're at the coordinates of where perhaps Santa Claus was sitting about a month ago with the kids, right? So uh, this, this is home uh, to all of us. And uh, it was great to see that survey that this is a home to you too. I've been coming here since I was a kid. And I shared with my brother as uh, Max Upton sent news out about this investment that was happening, my younger brother, who I was with last week, out of state, I said, guess what? Theater is coming back to Great Northern. He said, I worked there as a kid. He worked at the theaters here at Great Northern Mall. So, you know, this is a family away from home for all of us. And I wanna say, just to reiterate uh, the mayor's point, our malls are really becoming community experiences. You know, we have to think about in an era of everything online and digital, how we recreate those experiences. But they are important gathering places. So the team managing uh, this incredible enterprise that is Great Northern Mall, it is, it is truly an experience of place. And to have theater on the big screen, on the silver screen, come back to this mall adds to that experience. I'm a parent of a 15 and 14 year old. I tend to be their Uber driver these days to get them to theaters, but they like to watch movies with their friends, talk about it, create an experience, have a night out in a safe environment together. That's what it's all about. And I'm glad, uh, Bill, that you're here from the Film Commission today. Uh, this is uh, Cleveland is growingly known as not just a consumer of theater uh, and, and film, but a producer. I, I could name them, you could name more of them, but just to think of the Russo brothers in our own front yard here from Cleveland at the forefront of Marvel, you know, producing movies that include Captain America, the Avengers and beyond, that's Cleveland. So we're proud of our work in uh, film. And I'm proud of the investment that's happened 
And I'm proud that this mall continues to reimagine in a way that creates an experience of place. And as the mayor recounted, it's been, we've all been salmon swimming up against the stream, you know, in a really tough post-pandemic dynamic. But as has been said to me as county executive over and over, what we need are social outlets. We need places for people to go to gather in a world that is increasingly online, where they increasingly seem to find themselves shopping or experiencing digital content. <clears throat> but we need these live places for our own enjoyment, for our socialization, and frankly, for mental health. We need to be together. And that's what this theater is actually producing. And the team, I think appropriately named Phoenix, Phoenix rising up and producing again with the city of North Olmsted for us. It's great to see them in four or five states. It's great to see them doubling down in Ohio. And what I want to leave you with last is what I overheard Corey Jacobson, the president of Phoenix, say to Mayor Nicole Daly-Jones, and I think extension to all of council on this as well. He said, this is an easy place to do business and an easy place to get started. And I appreciated you saying that because that's not always easy. But when the public-private partnership comes together to make good things happen for its citizens, that's why we're here. Thank you for the investment. Thanks for recognizing the talented team from North Olmsted and Great Northern Mall. And most importantly, thank you consumers. When they do open up, we'll bring back a resolution. We'll cut a ribbon. We'll be here for the first run movies. And kids that are out of school today, I hope you will too. It's good to see you. Thank you, everybody. Enjoy. I don't even know how to follow that up. That was absolutely wonderful. Um, anyway, I, I really wanted to take a minute to introduce our Phoenix Theater's senior staff who's joining us here today. We have John Scanlon, who is our chief operating officer, who's incidentally started working with me in 1992. We have Braden Allen in the second row there, chief financial officer, started working with me in 1998. These guys keep an eye on the fact that they don't want us to spend too much money, but we always get carried away, so we we'll make it right. Uh, we have Tiris Reed, who is the vice president of our operations, sitting in the front row here, <laughs> who's been working with me since 2001. Joe Cork, vice president of literally everything. You want to give that title up so we know what it is? Oh yeah, okay, marketing of everything. Also, uh, Brad Stuckroth, who's our senior digital systems engineer, who put all of this show together today, so there he is over there. And also sitting next to him, Frank Carney, who is also our senior digital systems engineer. And between these two guys, they're gonna be the ones that make Dolby Atmos sound like it should and put pictures on the screen here that, that hopefully everybody you'll hear will be astonished to see. We have Devin Cameron right in the front row here who's our supply chain analyst. I also want to go back and say those guys were here from 2009, 2013, and Devin since 2000. Um, also sitting next to him is Bryce Cameron, our executive administrative manager who's been working with me since 1998. And we have Oliver Holman with his new suit, suit on here, uh, statistical analyst. He's been working with us since 2011. And none other than Connor Rash sitting on the end here. You'll get to see him a lot at the Great Northern Mall because he's our project manager and he's been working with us since 2016. Also someone who is really instrumental in putting all this together is Austin Johnson, who is taking photographs right now in the back there. He is their creative marketing director and public relations director, and he's been with us since 2017. I hope I'm not, oh, and from Massachusetts, from our theater there is Alex Harrington, and he's been with us since when, 2018? 2021, man. Time flies and you're having fun. All right, well, he came all the way out here to, to be a, a participant in this, so thank you for coming. I think I covered everybody. Oh, Brian Garethy's up in the front row here. He's our manager of Laurel Park in Michigan. So, did I get everybody? Oh, and we have Aaliyah Mack. Stand up and say hello. 
and Callie, her assistant manager, and and uh, Aaliyah, by the way, is has something in common with you because she was born in Ohio and, and operates our theater in Defiance. So that's our new theater. And I'll give you one last person, and that is Gary Engvold, who's been with me since the beginning, and he is our equipment dealer uh, from New York who came out here to check out the theater and, and join us here today. So Jordan and I came to the Great Northern Mall on June 9th for the first time, and we were pleasantly surprised by just how vibrant the mall was and just how all these great brands are here representing the trade area, uh, such as Forever 21, J.C. Penney's, Dillard's, Macy's, Dick's Sporting Goods, uh, are only a few tenants that make this mall an outstanding retail center and make Great Northern a great destination for a state-of-the-art first-run movie theater. Uh, I also want to thank the staff of Pacific Retail and the management here at Great Northern Mall for welcoming our business to the shopping center. It is really today, they were running around like crazy getting all this set up and, you know, I, it is very, very nice to be welcomed in such a way and be involved with such with fine people. I also want to introduce Jordan Holman, our Vice President of Project Development, who is going to tell you about the amenities that you can expect to find at the theater. So take it away, Jordan. All right, wow, thanks, Corey. Hello, everyone. and. Uh, I just want to first say thank you all for being here today uh, for this special announcement. We are thrilled to bring Phoenix Theaters to the Great Northern Mall and really bring back movies to, uh, to North Olmsted. As Corey mentioned, I'm Jordan Homan. I'm the Vice President of Project Development for Phoenix Theaters. And over the years, I've had the privilege of working on several new locations. Each time, we strive to blend our greatest hits with innovative features that define the Phoenix Theaters experience. At Phoenix Theaters at Great Northern Mall is no exception. At Great Northern Mall, we've once again collaborated with Dolby to enhance our guest experience with Dolby Atmos, a truly immersive audio technology that puts you at the heart of every movie. To give you a glimpse, let's watch a video provided by Dolby that captures what Dolby Atmos means for the movie-going experience. Dolby Atmos is a breakthrough new sound experience. It's a major advance from stereo and even surround sound. In stereo, streams of sound are delivered through two channels. Surround sound enhanced audio by creating five or seven channels. It's a much richer experience, but the limitations of channels still remain. Dolby Atmos revolutionizes audio by freeing sound from channels. As a result, it can create a complete atmosphere of sound all around you, even overhead. It also enables much finer control for filmmakers over individual sounds. They can be made louder or quieter, more diffused or more focused, bigger or smaller. Audio elements can now be precisely placed and moved in three-dimensional space throughout the cinema. Each sound comes to life with its own unique personality and moves around you the way it does in the real world. We call it moving audio. As the sound flowing around you makes you feel like you're truly inside the action. And this heightens the impact of the movie. Look for Dolby Atmos in the cinema and hear the story come alive all around you. Dolby Atmos, go inside the story with breakthrough sound. Pretty amazing, isn't it? In addition to this groundbreaking audio experience, we're very proud to offer VIP level comfort for each guest by replacing every seat in the building with heated recliners. I believe this is what truly sets Phoenix theaters apart. And in fact, if you'll indulge me, I'd like to take this opportunity to demonstrate why the heated reclining seats are the highlight of our theater. See if I can get this, there we go, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we call this kickback, relax, recline. Every seat in every auditorium is equipped with a heated reclining love seat. 
which, uh, by the way, I think is a perfect match and kind of uh, perfect for this time of year after the morning we've had. <laughs> Furthermore, it features an armrest that flips up. This is my favorite feature of the seat. It's really good for family movie nights. This, I believe, is what moviegoers are most excited about and what makes Phoenix Theaters a truly unique cinematic experience. I'm really excited about this project, and I invite you all to follow us uh, and our construction progress on our website at phoenixmovies.net, where you can find us on Facebook and Instagram to see those updates as well. We look forward to welcoming you at Phoenix Theaters Great Northern Mall this summer for an unparalleled cinematic experience. Thank you. Thank you, and we will see you at the movies. Can you just hang out there? I think you can just hang out there. So thank you, Jordan. Um, we hope to be open by early this summer. How about that? Of this year. And we'll be employing approximately uh, 50 staff members at this theater, bringing our total jobs throughout our company to over 350 people. We look, very, very, we look forward to a very, very strong future here at North Olmsted. And I, again, I just want to on behalf of all of our staff and all of our folks, just say thank you very, very much for this just overwhelmingly wonderful welcome. And what we'd like to do is invite everyone for a banner unveiling. These guys made a huge banner. It's the largest banner I've ever seen in my life. And they want to show it to you right now and get some photo ops down by the theater. So thank you very much. And I hope you guys can come down and check that out too. And we'll see you at the movies very soon. Thank you.